I'm Dr. Nicole Vain, and I own a practice here in sunny San Diego. I've been practicing for 16 years. I have owned my practice now for five. And for the past seven, eight years, I've really trended towards being a holistic dentist. Um, when I made that decision, I don't even think I knew what it was. I just wanted to do a healthier approach to dentistry, which meant being metal free, not using mercury fillings. Um, but then I knew holistic meant ozone. So I actually had no idea what ozone was or how to use it. I just thought I better learn about this because I'm going to be holistic. And then once I learned about it, I'm like, how, how is this not being used for everything? I mean, it's to the point now where I have a machine in my home because it does have so many uses and applications. I'm just continually blown away by it. But, you know, rewinding back to my introduction to it, it just seemed like this abstract concept. And I don't think people realize ozone's around us all the time um, and how it's many uses in different industries. Um, so my love for it has come from the compilation of all these experiences and uses and finding out how it works, um, including just even uh, one of my friends owns a mold remediation company and does carpet cleaning. So if you had like your dog pee all over your carpet, he has a bunch of ozone machines to get the smell out um, of the carpet and the floorboards. And so when I, he heard I was using ozone in the mouth, he's like, oh my God, what, it, what can you do in there? I want to hear. This is amazing because I know how it works for me. So, um, so yeah, I, I started with my training um, through a mastership that I went for several weekends to um, train under Dr. Mollis, Malika and Harris, who have been using ozone for about 40 years. And then they go through each of the uses in dentistry. And then it's expanded from there where I've joined um, an ozone mastership with all sorts of naturopaths and medical doctors and veterinarians to learn um, its uses in other fields. What was the initial attraction that you had to ozone? What sparked in your brain like, oh, maybe I should do this? It honestly was just that it was a word I heard was used for holistic dentists. So I thought, hmm. And I had had some patients ask me if I use ozone. And I was like, what, I, what's that? So in, in my quest for knowledge, I started researching it online. And there actually, it was a little more difficult, especially even seven, eight years ago, to find out how I'd get trained and how to use it. I did buy some textbooks on it. Um, and it sounded great, but that didn't help me just dive right into using it in my practice. So what made me want to do it was just that initial question. So I flew out to the training and then that was the first training was like three days on just all of its applications in dentistry. When I came back to using it chairside, seeing an instant result on something was just something that made me transition just instantly. It was like, wow, this isn't hocus pocus. This is like real, this really works. So one of the main uses we use it for is for disinfecting and desensitizing. So ozone, O3, oxidizes things. Bad cells like bacteria, gram-negative bacteria, anything that causes infection and inflammation, the ozone is drawn to, and it's like an oxygen bomb. And oxygen, especially free radical oxygen, is healing. Um, in the body, it makes the blood flow better, it makes the tissue heal faster, and it can vaporize an infection. So a long-standing infection, it can absolutely clean it out, especially when we're not able to tactically clean it out. So if you had a deep gum pocket with a ton of pus, I can actually use ozone in the pocket and it'll soak into your root. And so not only will it go into the the tubules inside of the tooth, but it'll actually clean out everything inside of that pocket and kill the bacteria there and stop the pus instantly. And it's so effective, it stops the bleeding. Um, so it's, and it's painless. So we use it a lot for infection, but infection in teeth is still decay. So inside of a tooth, it's like thousands of, of uh, drinking straws stacked 
alongside one another. And the issues with dentistry is that we can't clean all that out. You know, we, we can never see all of it, especially if we took a electron microscope and blew it up. There's still bacteria sitting in there. So ozone can actually, through the gas and the water, wick down to those areas, completely sterilize it, which leads to, even with a simple filling, the tooth not being sensitive, decay that we can't feel or bacteria is brewing can be killed. So it leads to a lot more conservative dentistry, and it's actually healing for the tooth. Ozone has been awesome, and I've seen it, especially in dentistry, the, the popularity of it, like you said, it was kind of difficult seven, eight years ago to get training, has really, really grown. So, I mean, the market has, you know, doubled, tripled over the last couple of years, even, of people that are using it in the United States. So it's cool to see a lot of different organizations start up, a lot of different training opportunities, and people are able to get it easier. I use it a lot for uh, cleaning out infection in the jaw if I'm doing a surgical extraction, if there's an abscess. Um, and now all the root canal specialists I work with are getting it because of that ability to wick down all the way inside the tubules and around the tooth is if a tooth is really infected, it's a closed space that if a root canal is going to fail, it's because there's still bacteria that's lurking in there. So ozone's really the only way we can kill it. Um, our other traditional method is to soak the tooth in bleach, you know, so, and that doesn't go down and you don't want it to extrude beyond the tooth because it, it's incredibly caustic and it can cause a horrible reaction if any of it gets anywhere other than just soaking the tooth. So the other beauty is that ozone is completely safe. Um, I, so I use it a lot in surgery. I use it for root canals. I've now, uh, I think I mentioned to you, I now have a machine, the Simply O3 machine in every single room. So that, um, so I've, I have five. And then I have the extra one at home and a, and a big unit for making uh, the ozone water, but to do the gas insufflations, um, my hygienists love it for root sensitivity. It completely occludes the dentinal tubules so that people with really electric hypersensitive teeth don't have to use things like Sensodyne. You can actually heal the tooth um, by using the ozone. And then especially with gum disease being the number one um, problem with dentistry, we're able to clean these deep pockets that otherwise we wouldn't be able to get to heal other than with a laser um, is by using ozone in the pockets. So the, the units are small, they're really easy to turn on, and then you can just deliver it in site-specific areas. So um, that's been, those are the main uses. If I ever have a filling that's close to the nerve, a deep filling, a super sensitive patient, um, there's a lot of attachments that come with the machine um, where I can just use a simple wand and cup the tooth that take um, usually just an extra one to two minutes for the procedure. So I use it on that most frequently. It gives me a lot of peace of mind if I'm worried about someone having their tooth die from a deep cavity or I'm not certain that microscopically I got all of it even though tactically, tactically I did. It gives me a, a huge safety net and a lot of patients are happy to have it. It works also for, um, there's cold sore attachments so you can use it for cupping a cold sore. Um, that same cup attachment, one of my hygienists had a sty and she closed her eyes and she put the cup on there and her sty went away. So it's, it's uses are, uh, I don't, I want to say endless. I mean, I just went to a cosmetic course where we were using it for spider veins and wrinkles. As a dentist, uh, I'm more skilled at injecting in the face than most medical doctors. So it was difficult in my training with the other MDs and naturopaths there where there was very foreign to them, some of the facial anatomy, and it was really easy for me because I'm used to using the small needle attachments. So I'm excited to try and uh, do a lot of the aging experiment stuff on myself and I have some wrinkles I'm gonna start working on by injecting them with ozone, so. Who did you get the training with? Um, that one was through my ozone mastership and then they just brought in people from all around the world who specialize in different cancer therapies. And one of the breakout seminars I chose was, was through um, a cosmetically oriented naturopath. And she uses it even for cellulite dissolution. 
um, scar revisions. Uh, so it was, it was really exciting to see its uses in other parts of the body. So ozone, you know, it kind of has this misnomer as a pollutant. Um, would you be able to address that? But also, what are some of the safety concerns with ozone, if any, and uh, how do you work with that? Yeah, there's a few. There's definitely a few. Um, so it's, it's issue as a pollutant, when he, people hear ozone, uh, they associate it with smog, the ozone layer, right? So our, we're going to get a sunburn outside because of our, our ozone layer. And actually, that's only when it interacts with other molecules. Ozone in a pure form, what I like to tell patients, is that fresh smell after a thunderstorm or with ocean spray crashing, that's actually ozone. So now I actually love the smell of ozone. When I walk in and someone's making it, I'm like, hmm, it smells, to me, I associate it with clean, fresh, um, but it does have a, an odor. Now, with the body, with it acting as an antioxidant or an oxidizer, we only have antioxidants everywhere in our body except in our eyeballs and in our lung tissue. So when we are using it in the mouth, we have to be careful people don't inhale large amounts because it will cause you to cough uh, significantly because we lack those antioxidants. Um, same thing with if you get it in your eye. Now, it won't do any damage. It just, it's, it's quite a coughing spell. And then the way you'd remedy that in the dental office is we just use a fan blowing across the face if we're administering significant amounts in the mouth. And then we also use our high vacuum suction next to it. I've still had a couple patients, especially when I'm using it on children, that gasp it in. And then the remedy is just to use, um, we have a liposomal vitamin C and that takes it away in a couple of minutes. It really is just such a strong anti anti-infection treatment so mm -hmm. it works just for so many different things in that realm and it's yeah. interesting too how it works differently based on where it's applied and how it's applied yes so like a systemic treatment still has medical benefit as opposed to like a topical treatment on a tooth where you're doing some anti-infection but when you're so changing gears a little bit if you're looking at how you used to practice or how you're seeing kind of the standard medical or dentist practice um, why should they consider getting ozone into their clinic? Like, w what would be a good reason for them to transfer and start using that more frequently? Um, quite honestly, it's peace of mind. And I think the seeing can, can only create the believing. Nothing that comes from this video, until you get it in your hands and you see that when you have a tooth that you extract that's profusely bleeding because the body's just trying to bring white blood cells to the surface to flush out this infection, you shoot ozone in there and it stops instantly and you see it bubbling in the socket or if they have a draining abscess and you inject it in the area, you can see ozone just shoot through what we call a fistula, which is a draining channel of it's a cyst-like space and it bubbles it and, and you start to picture in your mind that cyst just collapsing. The patients heal better. There's no post-operative pain. I can't tell you how many root canals I've prevented. Um, I'm in the business of my belief system is about conservative dentistry. I want to be healing things, um, getting my team on board. And I mean, I've worked with in my almost 20 years of experience. I mean, I have people who've worked 20 years beyond my experience. So, and all of them now are believers only because they've actually used it, um, with spider bites, pimples, you name it. I'm like, go get the ozone and it works. So once you see it start working, you wouldn't want to practice without it. The way it's valuable is one, it's really inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And two, if I could tell people that if you use this, you're not going to have post-operative pain, swelling, infection. I mean, I haven't had any in five years that I've been using it consistently. That's huge. It's a huge practice builder. It's great for marketing. It's great in setting yourself apart as a provider. Um, and it's inexpensive and easy. So if it's not, I mean, I have a hundred thousand dollar laser at my office. That's not something everyone's going to want to leap into. This is something that's easy to incorporate, easy to train your team and easy to build value. So that's what, what I like about it is that it, uh, really gives me the peace of mind of treating infection. Cause I'm in the business of that. Right. So we talked a little bit about you, you do injections where you actually use needle and you're injecting in different areas. You're doing a spray. So you're exposing like topical things to ozone. What are your thoughts on the ozonated oils? Love them. 
Um, they So ozone oil, for those people who haven't used it, is only truly stable form. If you use gas or water, it's, you, make a, you need to make a fresh batch all the time. The ozone efficacy decreases um, with a quick half-life if it's in the gas form or the water form. But if it's an oil, it's indefinitely shelf-stable. Although, if I'm not using it, I tend to keep it in the refrigerator. But the ozone oil is what we would use for scars, wounds. Um, I would use it in any situation where I would use Neosporin. I would use ozone oil instead. It's uh, something that helps rapidly heal. It works on cold sores, any wound. I had um, one of my hygienists have a terrible facial trauma and she needed 30 stitches. And her plastic surgeon told her she was gonna need revision plastic surgery. She also is um, of an ethnic background where it's typical to have keloid scars. And she came by the office, got the ozone oil, and her two week follow up, her plastic surgeon couldn't even believe how she looked. She doesn't need any revision surgeries. She didn't even scab the way that you would typically see. When the scab fell off, she didn't have this crazy purpley, yucky skin underneath. She had just fresh, beautiful skin. And so the ozone for her was something that really aided in her healing. You can't even see the scar now. And it was something that again, on onset, the plastic surgeon thought she would need several revision procedures. So we use the ozone oil. I just keep it on hand for pretty much anything that can go on. Yeah, I, I, I've been a huge fan of it. And the reason that the ozone can bond with the oil and not the uh, water or air is because it goes into the oil and it bonds and it creates something ozonines, which have some similar properties, but they're stable. So they do last a lot longer. Right. Where would you recommend doctors to go get training on this if they, or dentists, if, if they were interested in doing that? Uh, the easiest way um, to get training for your team is Dr. Eric Zaremensky. That's uh, Z-A-R-E-M-N-S-K-I. He's based in uh, San Francisco area, and he'll fly out to your office and train your entire team. So if four dentists want to get together and have 20 people present, it costs you the same. It's very affordable um, to have him out. And his approach is nice. I liked the science training through Malika and Harris, but it is super science. So if you're someone who just wants to dip your toes in and use it a little, it could overwhelm you if you, so I would call that like the advanced course, whereas his is like, hey, you wanna use this in five minutes from now, I will show you how to use it. Um, one last use I left off to also was for pain therapy. I use it for joint issues in the joint space. So that works really well. Um, and he'll train you on that also. So uh, I highly recommend the training through him just because I think th having it simplified makes it easier to understand. And he does a great job on that. Yeah, I agree. And I showing you how to use the, the, the long time. He's a good guy. He's a lot yeah. of fun. And, yeah. Uh, he has a lot of experience with it. So he's worked with it for quite a while. And yeah. He makes those on oils himself too. So he's pretty well versed in. Uh, oh yeah. He's got me using it as a deodorant, a shampoo on my eyes for my wrinkles. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm a, I use it every night, so, yeah. Yeah, ozone everything. Yes. 